വെൽക്കം ടു ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ഫോർ ദ വെബ്സൈറ്റ് ബയോൾ ഫോർ യു ഡോട്ട് കോം സോ ടുഡേസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി ദ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫോട്ടോ സിന്തസിസ് യു നോ വി സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ലീഡ്സ് ടു ദ ഡിസ്കവറി ഓഫ് ദി ദ ഫൈനൽ റിയാക്ഷൻ ഫോർ ദ ഫോട്ടോ സിന്തസിസ് സോ ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി ആക്ച്വലി അറ്റ് വിച്ച് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ പ്ലാന്റ് ദ ഫോട്ടോ സിന്തറ്റിക് പ്രോസസ്സ് ഈസ് ടേക്കിംഗ് പ്ലേസ് ഓക്കെ So, you know that uh, photosynthesis uh, takes place uh, in the green leaves. See here. So, this is the plant uh, and in this plant, uh, the photosynthesis uh, taken place uh, on the green leaves. Okay. At the same time, it also taken place uh, on the green stem. That means a uh, young stem, green part of the plant, uh, like a uh, young stem. Uh, and also, it uh, taken place uh, in the uh, fruit uh, when it uh, is in the uh, unripened condition, that is in the green fruit. Uh, okay so photosynthesis uh, taken place uh, on young stem uh, fruits uh, and other part of the plant uh, having green color okay so mainly it taken place on the leaf but uh, wherever the green part uh, present uh, there the photosynthesis will takes place uh, okay in green part of the plant uh, cell containing discoid disc shaped or discoid uh, or convex shaped green colored bodies uh, see here so this is the cell and this cell containing uh, some disc shaped or green colored convex shaped bodies uh, and these bodies are called chloroplast okay they are abundant in the leaves this chloroplast is abundant in the leaves means uh, the leaf containing mesophyll cells uh, and that mesophyll cells containing these green colored bodies uh, in abundant and this green colored bodies are called chloroplast so actually the photosynthesis is taken place in this chloroplast and this chloroplast are abundant in leaves but it also present in the other part of the plant where green color is available okay a leaf parenchyma so this is the one of the parenchyma of the leaf that containing near about 20 to 40 chloroplast means one parenchyma cell containing Uh, mesophyll cell containing 20 to 40 chloroplast okay so in leaf uh, there are about uh, 50000 chloroplast per millimeter square so uh, each millimeter square that are containing 50000 chloroplast that is uh, 50000 chloroplast per millimeter square area okay in cells uh, chloroplast usually assigned uh, means the chloroplast usually present or arranged on the boundary see here it arranged on the boundary why because uh, uh, when arranging on the boundary it will get maximum sunlight for the uh, purpose of the photosynthesis so chloroplast in uh, mesophyll cells are arranged on the periphery of the cell to get maximum sunlight okay so then let us study the structure of this individual chloroplast so now let us study the structure of the chloroplast you know each chloroplast is surrounded by an envelope so this is the envelope of the chloroplast and it is made up of the two membrane that is uh, the outer membrane and inner membrane okay and uh, a fluid filled space present inner to the envelope so this is the envelope inner to the envelope there is a fluid filled space <coughs> and this fluid filled space is known as the stroma or it is called matrix and this stroma contain uh, many uh, systems membrane systems and this membrane systems is called thylakoid each one is known as a thylakoid and this thylakoid arranged one over the other just like uh, we arrange the coin one rupees of coin one above the another and forming the stake of the coins or the pile of the coins just like this thylakoid membranes are arranged one above the another and then forming a a, a bundle of this granum uh, bundle of the thylakoid and this bundle of the thylakoid is known as the granum so this is the granum okay and uh, the grana uh, of adjacent granum is uh, connected with each other with the help of the another membrane see here this membrane and this membrane is known as the intergranal membrane means in between the granum that is the intergranal membrane or it is known as the fret channel or it is also known as the um, stromal lamella so this is the stromal lamella and the thylakoid uh, is the uh, placed one above the another and forming the granum that forming a one stack or one unit 
uh, one uh, integrated structure and this uh, granum connected with each other with the help of the intergranular membrane or uh, stromal membrane or it is known as the pret channel okay and uh, pret uh, channel let us see the other part of the uh, chloroplast uh, chloroplast okay all these membranes uh, we studied uh, there are two membranes that is the outer membrane and inner membrane and uh, inner uh, or in the stroma there are the uh, lamellae and each one has uh, each lamella and each membrane is having trilaminar structure that is the structure is equal to the plasma membrane okay so there is a clear division of the labor in the chloroplast so the chloroplast having uh, particular part performing the particular function that is a clear division of the labor is observing in the chloroplast okay the membrane system is a membrane system is a thylakoid and the granum it is responsible for trapping light energy and also for synthesis of the atp and the nadph means this thylakoid is responsible for the trapping light energy solar energy and then it is producing the atp molecules and nadph not nadh nadph nicotinamide adenine in stroma various enzymes this stroma that contain various enzymes also uh, for the purpose of fixation of the carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide fixation that is taking place in the stroma all because all the enzymes are requiring for the carbon dioxide fixation that is present in the stroma okay and uh, uh, by fixing the carbohydrate carbon dioxide carbohydrate or glucose and starch will produce in the stroma okay the reaction involved in trapping energy means sun energy or sunlight energy or solar energy and a conversion to atp and nadph is called light reaction that process is known as the light reaction and this light reaction is taken place in the uh, granum okay or the thylakoid member this is the thylakoid membrane in which the trapping of the light energy and the conversion into atp and nadph taken place that reaction is known as the light reaction because that is taken place only in the presence of the light especially in the sunlight the reaction in is stroma then the reaction stroma using what to produce in the light reaction the light reaction produces atp and nadph is produced and this nadph to nadph and atp is utilized for the reduction of the carbon dioxide in the stroma so during the light reaction uh, that is taken place in the granum it produces atp molecules and nadp nadph atp and nadph nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nadph reduced form of the nadp produced and this molecules energy molecules that are used for the uh, dark reaction that is taken place in the stroma so in the stroma dark reaction taken place and in the granum light reaction taken place light reaction produced energy source and this energy source utilized for the dark reaction so this atp nadp nadph is known as the it is known as the energy source for the dark reaction or it is known as the assimilatory power so these are the assimilatory power assimilatory power assimilation means synthesis of glucose or carbohydrate okay so for that energy is requiring that energy is atp and nadph it is produced during the uh, light reaction so it is known as assimilatory power okay the stroma uh, besides this enzymes for the dark reaction the stroma also containing some other materials so what are these it is containing double stranded single double stranded dna so that is dna is the dna of the uh, chloroplast itself uh, and uh, that is not the dna of the uh, cytoplasm cytoplasm containing nucleus uh, the nucleus also containing the dna that uh, dna is uh, different uh, and the dna present uh, inside the stroma that uh, helping to control the activity of the chloroplast so dna present uh, it also containing some ribosomes uh, and these ribosomes may be present freely or it may be present in the form of the chain means uh, polysomes that uh, may be present in the form of the chain of the ribosomes on the mrna so that is known as the polysomes and these ribosomes are 70s ribosomes 70s ribosome is the characteristic feature of the prokaryotic organism and it is containing 30 and 50s 
sub unit so that is the characteristic feature of the prokaryote so some scientists uh, proposing that uh, chloroplast is the is a prokaryotic in origin but there is no clear cut validity for that uh, that uh, the main reason is that uh, the uh, ribosome is 70s type so that is the structure of the uh, chloroplast see here this is the outer membrane chloroplast having two membranes that is the outer membrane and inner membrane this is the inner membrane then other parts are outer membrane and inner membrane and here in between the outer membrane and inner membrane there is a space so this space and this space is known as the intermembrane space intermembrane space okay then uh, this is known as the uh, this structure it is the stake of the uh, thylakoid membrane that Sorry, is known as the, the uh, granum not the stroma it is the granum so this is the granum grana is the plural granum is the singular okay so this is the thylakoid membrane So this is thylakoid membrane and this is also shown here is the granum okay and here the space inside the granum that is known as the lumen okay and this is the dna so that is the structure of the uh, chloroplast okay